see how well it transmits naked pictures of your aunt. And we'll visit a chat room and type with a star child. God. Hi, I'm Steve. Steve, Unix assassin known as the IP sniffer. Plus, we'll use the word revolutionary a lot to make you feel inadequate for not owning a piece of technology that will be obsolete as the abacus in moments. In moments, Bill. Sorry, uh, my avatar was in trouble, and I can't take him back to therapy. Hi, I'm Bill, known on IRC as the Binary Bandit. Managing a life online where you get to swing and knock off the strangers takes a lot of work. Trust me on that, I'm ahead of my time. Hopefully the media will pay more attention to the people I kill online rather than the people I really killed as a member of the army. <laughs> hey, I say that to every girlfriend I killed. Respawn, bitch! Just kidding. I've never had a girlfriend. Speaking of my penis, life online, different than reality for sure, but which is more satisfying? How do you find time to live your life no, and no. virtual life? Let's go to the phones. Emote you comment. You money. Money. Upgrading to that new version of Windchime? What do you guys think about that? That's great. The screen savers are amazing. WTF? <laughs> LOL. Look, we all know you spend more time with your computer than girls, so why get one that's complicated? Girls like computers should be easy. Not freeze up all frigid like crap out on you. You may make fun of us fruits, but we understand each other and have a great time. Especially in the ultimate disc in the dark online championship. You know what? Ten frick go to hell, okay? Hurry up, I'll wait for a swing at Mars. Nah, how 1987 are you a go-to joke? How basic? Yup, you got me there. What's next? A mud? <laughs> Next caller. Hi, I was wondering what you guys thought of that movie, The Mainframe, and the controversy of the cybersexism. Well, first off, if this were a chat room, I would be typing with one hand. IMHL, The Mainframe, is the greatest movie of all time. Partially because it's so close to reality, especially the robot that defecates and the, the bit about the dork that saves everyone. I agree. And the rant in the movie about backdoor hacking and the fudge factor? Incredible. That was a metaphor from the deep bowels of hell, man. There was a guy last night in the chat room bashing the mainframe, and I had to flame him. I love flaming lamers. Well, no, anyway, let's take true. a break and get some propaganda going on. The number one war game is now a fully licensed video game. Fitness Section's Lab Rat Kart Racing is better than all those other licensed kart racing games because this time, you don't die of war, you die of anthrax. Video games and education meet in this incredible package as we race, chase, and scream your way to a twisty course that bears in the mark similarity to all the other kart racing games we made. and the revolution is coming to a retail store near you. You know what, Steve? They've been saying it for years, and it's finally happened. Robots are taking over! What was that called? In the future, there will be robots? Modern dance, you lamer. LMFAO! Er, but yeah. And the future is here right now. That's right, the robot revolution has begun. Pretty soon we'll all have devices planted in our brain, which tell us when to eat and when we need to go to the toilet. It's incredible. I just surfed about it. 